Hi children. Today we are discussing about an activity to absorb oxygen is available during photosynthesis in the presence of light. We have already discussed John Ingenhouse experiments on hydrilla plants and he observed that plants are forming oxygen in the presence of sunlight during photosynthesis. Now we need to do an activity and that is hydrilla experiment in our laboratory or in the classroom. To do this activity we need to follow some steps. They are number one aim, number two material required, number three precautions, number four observation, conclusion or inference. So these are the steps we need to follow while doing any activity. Here you are observing a figure, figure number five, hydrilla experiments. To do this activity, we need to take two setups. And uh, I am telling you what are the apparatus required for to do this hydrilla experiments. We need two glass beakers. We need two test tubes and hydroelectrics and water. First, we need to pour water in both the glass beaker up to 3 by 4th. 3 by 4th of the beakers are with water. And next, we need to take two funnels, glass funnels. And we need to invert the glass funnels in glass beakers which are having water. And here we need to take precautions. The narrow ends of these funnels should be submerged in water. Later we need to take two glass test tubes which are filled with water and we need to invert water filled test tubes on the narrow end of the funnels and here the inverted funnels are having what hydrilotics by taking both the setups two setups we need to keep we need to keep one setup in the sunlight one setup in the dark or under a shade after few hours we observed the setup which we kept in sunlight, production of what gas bubbles and uh, water level is slowly decreasing in the test tubes which we kept in sunlight. But the setup we kept in shade, dark, we are not observing the release of gas bubbles. After getting release of sufficient amount of the gas bubbles in the test tube, we need to lift the test tube from the narrow end of the funnel and we need to leave the water in the beaker. And later we need to take incense stick or match sticks and uh, it is a burning match stick and if we insert or in in introduce into the test tube and it burst into flames and that indicating that the gas that is evolved during photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight oxygen is released that is nothing but oxygen and oxygen is having the uh, property to burn the object vigorously or the intrinsic burst more but the other setup which we kept in dark or shade which is not in a position to produce what gas bubbles are oxygen and this activity confirmed that oxygen is released during photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight and here we are doing we did this activity to know that plants are forming oxygen in the presence of sunlight during photosynthesis 
that is brief a description about the to study to observe oxygen release during photosynthesis in the presence of, in the presence of sunlight thank you